Our first question is from Heather from California. Hey, Heather, how can we help you out? Hi, Sal. How's it going? Good. How are um, you? I, uh, I recently found out I have hypothyroidism, and I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on uh, natural interventions versus like synthetic hormones and pharmaceutical treatments. I uh, just wanted to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, so um, you got diagnosed by a doctor that you're not- Yes, correct. Okay, and, and to, to be clear, you said hypo, not enough Hi thyroid. Hypo, yes. Okay. Um, okay. So obviously, first off, uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm, I'm I've just been a trainer for a long time. I've worked with a lot of people. I've worked with a lot of functional medicine He's just practitioners. A smart guy. <laughs> so I'll I'll comment from that uh, position. Um, and by, by the way, did you get tested for antibodies uh, or uh, anything else regard uh, in relation to your thyroid? Correct. Correct. And this has been a continual testing, um, probably over the last like nine months or so. Okay. So, um, functional medicine practitioners sometimes will have somebody do, you know, elimination diet. They may recommend supplements like ashwagandha. Um, but you know, here's the thing. And I also worked with a lot of doctors and I would talk to them often about, uh, thyroid issues. Hypothyroidism, if it's just too little thyroid is a pretty, uh, from a Western medicine standpoint, pretty easy to fix situation. Um, you just take, thyroid medication. The challenge becomes uh, when you're taking the thyroid is is figuring out the right amount mm -hmm. for you because oftentimes you'll start it and then you'll get the effects of feeling like you have too much or too little. This process can take you know six months to a year to really figure out the right dose. But aside from that, it's a pretty easy fix and you don't want to go too long with too little thyroid um, because it's, uh, it's pretty bad for your health and your overall quality of life as you've probably already experienced Low energy, slow metabolism, that kind of stuff. How are how are stimulants going to affect her? Like caffeine and things like that pre workout. Typically, someone who's hypothyroid. That's a good question too. I would assume you probably have been trying to self medicate with a lot of caffeine. Um, I try to stay away from caffeine as much as possible, but there were some times when I was feeling like extra lethargic and uh, definitely was doing a lot more uh, coffee. I try not to break like coffee after 1 p.m., but I was starting to do it like 3 o'clock in the afternoon because I was just dragging some days. Yeah. Did, by any chance, did you practice a, a ketogenic or really low-carb diet for a long time? No, I did not. Okay. And I've never been like vegan vegetarian or anything like that either because I know sometimes like B12 deficiency wow. can uh, can be a part of this. Yeah. And in low like keto diets practiced for long periods of times in women uh, sometimes will show up uh, with thyroid issues. That's why I asked that question. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, the best thing I can recommend is to follow your doctor's advice and to train appropriately. So you're going to have to kind of listen to your body, which means you might not be able to train very intensely or very often because your energy's you know, probably not going to be yeah. great until you get the, the right amount of thyroid. Um, you also, you know, there's, there's different types of medications um, that you can work with um, when it comes to your thyroid. So, you know, Synthroid is, I think, the most common uh, yeah. thyroid medication. Um, and then you can do, you know, like, I, I believe they do like bioidentical type uh, thyroid type stuff. Um, so, you know, you can explore that kind of stuff. But, you know, from a diet and exercise standpoint, it's tough because you don't want to go too long with low thyroid. It really, it really affects your quality of life in a negative way. Um, is I'm, I'm sure you've probably experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it was a, it was a pretty big decline in my health. I'm a very healthy person overall. Um, I, um, have a degree in kinesiology, sports medicine and, uh, nutrition, and I'm also a personal trainer. So like I, I take care of my body really well. And, um, I was started getting some cues and went to my doctor right away. Um, and we've been kind of figuring it out over the last few months. Um, what's been going on with me. That's cool. And it, it, were you noticing the brain fog, uh, like the lack of uh, being able to concentrate, that kind of stuff? Yeah, what? totally. Okay. Um, I'm one to have a really good memory and I was really forgetting stuff. Um, it was, it was really bad. And I was like, is this just me aging? You know, <laughs> it was, mm -hmm. um, and then it, it was, but it was, it, I could definitely tell something was off. Did you have any kids by chance? Just curious. No. Okay. No what's a, tra what's the training protocol look like? How are you training right now? Um, I am doing, um, I'm actually, uh, uh, doing, uh, MAPS anabolic right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's great, probably, great the, yeah, program. I would say that's probably the, the, the perfect program, uh, for yeah, you right now. Just putting myself in three days a week, I think is what's kind of just fitting in with my energy levels right now. Um, because before I was training like more like four or five times a week and I was, 
I, I was basically wearing myself then at that yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to hormones, here's the deal. Um, you know, you can do things naturally to try to balance out hormones, but in certain cases, um, the, the, the low amounts of hormones themselves pose a greater risk to your health. So like, uh, you know, men with low testosterone, for example, they can try raising their testosterone naturally. Sometimes they're successful, but if they're not, then taking testosterone is better for their health than saying, I just want to be, you know, natural type of deal. So thyroid is one of those. And it's, it's, you know, from what I've, from what I understand from the hormone doctors I've worked with and trained, you know, they're like, look, this is one that you can just take the thyroid, not a big deal. And it makes a tremendous improvement in the person's health and quality of life. It's an area I've never messed with. Mm. I mean, I, I've had lots of clients, and it's just one of those ones that they just I, they take the medication. I've worked around it with the doctor. Mm -hmm. I've never tried to do anything holistically to change it. Yeah. So I hope that helps. Yeah. Thank you. I just I just wanted your guys' input because I've heard a lot of stuff and I've researched myself. So Sal, Adam, Justin, and Doug, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking my question. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. Yeah, that one's uh, uh, a bit over it's my pay grade because I, I and I had a lot of clients that had thyroid issues, but it wasn't something that I ever messed with. It was something that whatever your doctor is telling you as far as medication, we're going to follow. I know little things like the question I was asking mm -hmm. with caffeine, how hard she's training, like mm -hmm. those types of adjustments I would know to make. Uh, but as far as you know, when you're starting, when you get into hormones, it's not something that I feel yeah. like that I, I can really mm -hmm. control. I've been very much. yeah dealing with this quite a bit with Courtney, uh, uh, you know, with with her thyroid and just trying to get the medication like you had mentioned with just getting that right, the right dose. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes a while, and I think that it's frustrating uh, because uh, you know you have you have to actually wait and be patient for a while before it all kind of like balances out. But uh, once it does, it's pretty dramatic. Uh, you know what kind of happens? So. Oh, dude, it's uh, you know that's why I asked her about antibodies. Like sometimes people will have. Uh, like autoimmune reactions to their own thyroid, and this will cause them to have symptoms of low thyroid, but they're producing ad adequate thyroid hormone. It's just they have all these antibodies. So Hashimoto's is an example of something like that. In those cases, some, from my experience, sometimes holistic measures can make a tremendous improvement by helping your body's own immune system regulate itself better. Yeah, but, but what do you mean by holistic measures? You mean like cutting out maybe inflammatory foods, reducing the mm. intensity of training, maybe cutting out caffeine and stimulants? Like yeah, what looking else? at- like I, I wouldn't know where else to go. Looking at food intolerances, some SIBO, SIBO uh, sometimes can yeah. cause issues like that, so treating SIBO. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you just have low thyroid, you know, uh, okay, and I, and I totally respect it when people want to do things on their own and naturally. Give it a little bit of time. If it's not working, take the hormone because having low thyroid is not good for you. It's just not good for your health at all. And then right. later on, if she, you know, Justin asked if she had any kids, she said no. If she wanted to have kids, if she was pregnant with low thyroid, that can cause major problems yeah. uh, for the baby as well. So mm. it's not one of those that you want to, you know, necessarily, you know, just put to the side and say, screw it, I'm just going to be natural. If it's low, your quality of life is yeah. just terrible. Well, especially when you're talking about someone like that, like all the questions we're asking, I mean, she obviously knows what she's doing and she's researched a little mm -hmm. bit herself and she's taking care of herself health wise. So I didn't see any like obvious things like, oh, I'm abusing caffeine or I'm training seven days a week, super intense or marathon running or anything that I thought that might be throwing her hormones off. She yeah. sounds like she's got pretty good balance already. So I would have drove her right back to her doctor. Mm -hmm.